वेलकम बैक टू द ड्राइवर्स हब एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर ड्रैग रेस आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम This over here is a Skoda Kushak and this over here is also a Skoda Kushak but there is one fundamental difference between both of these cars this is the manual version and this is the automatic version and today we're going to perform a drag race and see which one is actually faster So the variants that we have today actually are the 1 liter TSI cars and as you know the 1 liter TSI is a up GTI sourced engine so there is a innate sportiness in this engine let me just go over the figures if you're not really uh, remembering them so the 1 liter TSI makes around 115 bhp and 178 newton meters of torque and the 1 liter TSI can be paired to two different gearboxes either a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed Top converter automatic. The white car over here is the six-speed manual, and this orange car over here is the six-speed automatic. Now, ironically, both of these cars have been owned by us. This is owned by TDH Classifieds, and it is for sale. So, if you're interested in buying a super cool one-liter TSI style variant, which is a top-end variant with the ventilated seats, the bigger screen, uh, the sunroof, and the 17-inch rims. do contact tdh classifieds because we are giving a banging deal on this kushak 1 liter tsi manual style and this over here is actually my family's car this is a 1 liter tsi style uh, automatic so again top of the line 17 inch rims ventilated seats sunroof and everything and both of these cars are absolutely identical except for the gearbox and the paint i mean even if you open the boot we have the skoda pillows inside so that's how identical they are So before we do the drag race we're going to the start line for it I'll just give you some background as to what we're going to do So first of all to measure the actual performance we will be using this So at the end once the drag race is over this draggy will give us a lot more accurate information in terms of you know what the 0 to 100 km per hour time was what the actual quarter mile was because we don't have any sort of finish line over here so not too sure but it will at least give you a better perspective of which transmission is actually faster now the top converter transmission in the kushak the polo the vertus slavia whatever car you get uh it's not the fastest transmission definitely a dsg is much much faster and moreover the kushak will be slower than the polo or even the vertus slavia because it's a bigger car it probably weighs a little bit more and compared to the manual car that we have over there uh, most likely this stock converter gearbox is going to uh, be more heavier so this is a, a disadvantage that this particular car has but I have gotten this car unlocked and some of the features here and there have been unlocked. So if you go into car and if you go into the electronic stability control setting, I have the ESC sport setting. Not too much of use because this car well doesn't wheel spin at all and don't worry none of us are going to do some stupid clutch dumps or something not even the manual car is going to have any sort of aggressive launch done to it. So it's all going to be controlled uh But yeah, the draggy will give you a more accurate perspective as to what the cars are performing, and the drag race basically is just going to show you well what's actually faster when you put it side by side. Hopefully, all of you guys' doubts in terms of how the drag race will play out and specs of the cars have been solved. So now the only thing left is to line up these cars and floor the throttle. <coughs>
wow closer than expected but the result wasn't surprising the torque converter gearbox in these new cars is not the fastest to respond especially when you want to go off of the line in order to preserve the clutch presumably the gearbox takes its own sweet time to give the full power in first gear whereas in the manual car since you can articulate the clutch and the throttle you have more control over the power delivery in this case bhavni didn't even dump the clutch and was quite easy on the clutch as well and still the manual car was the car with the better launch once things started rolling both cars were level pegging for quite a while but weirdly the manual car started to pull away from the automatic maybe that was down to the teensy weensy weight difference both cars must be having or the fact that the manual gearbox has less power train loss but you would expect the auto car to reel in the manual car back at least during the shifts but that wasn't the case let's see what the draggy data has to say so these runs were done with one person in the car roughly both cars having the same amount of fuel and with similar launching procedures the auto car was able to clock in a 17.78 quarter mile which in all honesty is not bad for a stock family crossover suv yes the torque converter isn't the most responsive transmission out there but can still do some great timings We didn't switch off traction in both cars at any point during this video. Would that have made a difference? We highly doubt it, but that's something we can keep for our next video. The Kushak was driven in manual mode with the paddles so the gear changes were taken all the way till the red line. Next comes the manual car with a very impressive 17.48 seconds. Again, very impressive for this style of car and goes to show that even today manual cars can keep up or in this case outperform their automatic counterparts the manual transmission in the kushak isn't the most slick one out there it is a little rubbery and sometimes difficult to slot in but once you get the hang of it as you saw you can outpace the automatic equivalent we have created a series on the modification of these new mqb a0 i n cars with our project tigun We would highly recommend you go watch that series so you can get a better understanding of how you can modify these new 1 liter TSI engines and get even more power and even faster timings. Till then, subscribe to our channel, comment down below what you thought about the Kushak, follow us on Instagram and I will catch you in the next one.